What's up everyone, Takedown here. Welcome back to another video. Now today is gonna to be a two part video. Not only I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some more things that I picked up from thrift stores for really cheap to not only resell, but also keep in my collection. I'm gonna be giving you guys an update on one of my very first flipping for profits episodes. And that's with those Xbox One games that I purchased. Let's get right into this. So I'm going to start with the updates from the Flipping for Profit series. Now, back a couple months ago, I did purchase a bunch of Xbox One games. There was about 25 Xbox One games, some Lego figures, and Disney Infinity figures in the lot. And I only purchased it for $40. So as of right now, I have about 7 Xbox One games left. They're all sports games and the Disney Infinity figures. And so far, I am at $110 profits. Right now, I've sold $150 worth from that lot. So not only do I have $110 profits, but I'm extremely excited to find other stuff to flip for profit because that was a great deal. And for me personally, I don't come by those deals too often. So I did make great profit from that Xbox One lot that I purchased. And I only purchased it to flip for profit because you guys know I am a PlayStation guy all day. So that's the update from the first episode from the Flipping for Profit series here on the channel. Now for the second thrift haul I have ever done. So the first thing I bought at the thrift store recently, I've went to two. So that is the Salvation Army and Value Village. So up first is a book. I think I got this at Salvation Army. And that is Mick Foley, Mankind, Have a Nice Day. This is a hardcover book. They did actually have the soft cover as well, but it was the day that they had books for 50% off. So instead of $3, this book here was $1.50. This is actually staying in my collection for now. Now, whenever I purchased it for $1.50, there is still profit to be made. However, for me, I'm a huge wrestling buff. I love everything, and this is from the 90s. A lot of his stories from ECW. So I actually have started reading this book. It's a really great book. And now I know for myself personally, I want to look for some more wrestling books from not only the 90s, but early 2000s. That's whenever I was heavily invested and get them for my own collection. In the future, I might sell this or get a few more and sell them. But for now, it's going to be staying in my own personal collection. I only paid $1.50 and the book's actually really awesome. It was the first book from a wrestler that wrote his own autobiography in the WWE. Next up is something for myself and I seen it it was really cheap and that is this change bin. Now I already have it about half full of my chains change. Now this here it's hockey related. I only paid a dollar and that's why I decided to do it, but it is extremely heavy right now and it's barely even at the halfway mark. This was purely for me but because it was hockey related, that's why I decided to purchase it. It's not something I needed. It's something I wanted just to put my change in to help with my theme of hockey that I have all over my room here. The next thing is a few CDs. I actually like and enjoy going to thrift stores for looking at CDs. Now, I don't take too long and I don't go to scan through all the CDs with the eBay or Amazon app. But I do find some things. They tend to just jump out at me. So the first ones here are Will Smith. This is Big Willie style, his Will Smith CD, and another Will Smith CD for Will Smith, Will Nenium. Now these ones here, back whenever these were released, I was not listening to Will Smith, but they do have some songs of his that I like on them, and I don't have any Will Smith in my collection. Now you guys know I do collect CDs. These here were only $2 each, like most thrift stores are but you can spend hours going through their CDs because normally they have tons of them. These ones here, just within two seconds, both of these jumped out at me. Now this one here is a little bit scratched up, so I don't know 100% if it works, but for collection purposes, these were great finds for myself. And the last thing, in my opinion, is the most profitable, and it is another hardcover book. That is for Star Wars, the complete cross section. So this talks about a lot of the ships within the Star Wars universe. Now, originally this was released in four books. This is all four books in one. So this here was in the kids section 
and it was only a dollar fifty at Value Village, which is incredible. So this one here, I did scan it on Amazon, and it sells used for eighty dollars. Now, if it was brand new, never opened, and there is a couple dings around the edges, so I can't sell it as new, but if it was, it'd be about $160 on Amazon. To me, that is a really, really crazy and really, really high, but it does seem to sell on Amazon for that price, so that is crazy. So right now, I think I'm gonna be saving it for Amazon, and whenever I have enough stuff to send to Amazon, this is gonna be going with it, but that was incredible to find a book with so much profits, for that much. Now, I only paid a dollar fifty on eBay. It's selling for between thirty and forty dollars. So if I don't want to wait to send it off to Amazon, and if I, that might be a while because I'm not finding that much stuff to send to Amazon these days, I might just list it on eBay and see what happens. But that to me was a great find for only paying a dollar fifty for it. That to me was incredible. It's kind of like the Transformers book I bought a while back in the last thrift video that I did because I only paid $1.50 for it and it's worth about anywhere between $30 and $50. So finding books that are of value at thrift stores is kind of hit and miss because I find there's a ton of books to go through. But what I do now is I simply go in, I scan for certain things, hockey books, wrestling books, or anything that is Star Wars, Disney, or that sort of thing they tend to sell for a little bit more. Or anything that is like Stephen King, if it's one of his best sellers and the top Stephen King books, they might sell for a little bit more. So since I'm still just new to thrift stores and finding out deals and selling and flipping for profit and that sort of thing, I'm just starting out. So I definitely want to look for more books in the future. Those seem to be more profitable for me. But it is a lot of fun just going through a thrift store and finding great deals and finding out what things are worth and being able to sell them for profit. It's a huge, huge adrenaline rush for me. So I absolutely love doing that. So that's all I have for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this thrift haul video and also me giving you guys an update on my first flipping for profit series on my channel with the Xbox One games. I'll give, I'll give you guys an update in the future for some of my other thrift haul videos and some of my other flipping for profit videos. Whenever I do sell a lot and have enough to share with you guys, I will announce that in future videos as well. So I'm gonna leave this video here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Please take care. Peace.